What's up guys, it's Troy with the Weber Kettle Club. In my last video, I didn't have access to my kitchen. Today, I don't even have access to my house. The only thing I have access to is my garage, and I found some frozen pizza rolls. I'm starving. I'm gonna go try to cook them. All right, so today I am using the ranch kettle to cook these pizza rolls. All my lighters, all my accessories, they're all inside. They're all, I'm not sure if that guy's yelling at me or not, but it's in Spanish, so I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, all my, like I said, all my, all my lighters, all my accessories are inside. I'm going to use lighter fluid today, but I'm not going to use it directly on the charcoal I'm cooking with because that's gross. Uh, I'm, I made a little fire starter, and I'm going to try to use this flint thingy, and I'm going to try to actually use the chimney. So I have a chimney here filled with mesquite lump. Good stuff. Uh, I got, I spilled it all over the ranch, so when you see that, don't think I'm doing that on purpose. It's just I'm trying to pour out of a 40-pound bag of charcoal that's been used and abused and it's all broken up into little pieces. Anyway, I'm gonna light this charcoal. I'm gonna set up the camera and, and try to get this charcoal lit old school with this thing since my house is all sealed up like a Dexter crime lab or Dexter, Dexter kill zone for asbestos something, whatever. California insurance laws are crazy. Anyway, let's light this charcoal with uh, some old school flint steel technology. All right, wish me luck. I move this aside and set this here. Oh my God, this is going to be crazy. I'm going to put lighter fluid all over this and my hand because that's how the cool kids do it. I don't know if this is going to work or not. If it does, I feel like I deserve a, some sort of scouting badge. Because I have. Come on. My charcoal grate is so bent up, this thing won't even stand up. Fuck it. Alright. Let's see if we can get this thing caught on fire. I don't even know if this stuff will light with the spark, but we'll see. Probably catch myself on fire. All right, our charcoal is lit. We got a homemade fire starter underneath there. There, there's the homemade fire starter that I made. It's just some junk mail that I found in the garage, stuffed inside an empty toilet paper tube that I also found inside the garage, along with the pizza rolls. And this, I found this inside the garage as well. Ta-da! All right, so I poured the chimney out. There's a bunch of little chunks, a couple big chunks. I just want to give it a, a mix. So the cooking grate will fit on here, which I can't show you because I can't lift that giant grate one-handed. It's huge. <clears throat> anyway, just using my hoe here to mix up this charcoal a little bit. I want to get this grill up to you know 450 or so. That's what the instructions on the pizza rolls say. So that should do it. <clears throat> Be right back. All right, since I don't have any tongs, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this 22 inch cooking grate on top of the ranch cooking grate. Plus it'll make it easier to uh, move, the, move the pizza rolls around, make sure they're cooking evenly. I don't know how I'm gonna remove them yet because I don't have any gloves or any tongs, but we'll figure that out when we get there. That should be enough pizza rolls for me. Just kidding. Save some for a child. So I'm gonna separate these out so they're all somewhat evenly spaced. That's what the instructions say. All right. <clears throat> so there we are. Just gonna go ahead and put these on. Put these on right there. Nice and indirect. So I'll come back and I'll probably have to rotate this or move it closer to the heat as as the heat changes. I don't have any thermometers in the ranch I'm not gonna break out any pit probes because I can't so I'm gonna have to so I'm gonna close the lid that's a lovely sound isn't it pizza rolls on the ranch kettle 
So I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but I just made a rookie mistake. I closed the ranch cuddle and I left the top vent completely closed. I walked away and about five minutes later I, I walked, walked, back, back, walked back through and I, I glanced over and I saw that it was closed. So I quickly came back to it, uh, fixed the vent, and I opened the lid just to get a rush of oxygen in there to make sure that my charcoal was good. And the charcoal is still good, so it's, uh, it's still going plenty hot. All right, so one of the cool things about the ranch kettle is you can see through the holes and kind of get a, a sneak peek of what's going on with your food. So I can peek around through here and see that some of these pizza rolls are starting to burst open already. And if you know pizza rolls, you know you don't want them to burst open. Oh goodness. All right, I found a Steven Reichlin barbecue glove amongst my stuff. So let's go ahead and rotate these around. Looks like they're actually cooking pretty evenly. I wish I, should, I wish I would have put them in a ring instead of filling the whole grate. Live and learn. Live and learn. I don't think I can rotate those, but we can see. I'm trying to shake this glove off in case you're wondering what that sound is. I'm not, uh, I'm not holding a bird. Oh man, they're, they're starting to crisp up, which is what you want. That's the nice thing about cooking pizza rolls on the charcoal grill. You get a nice, you get a nice smoky flavor and you kind of get these things crispied up a little bit, even better than in the oven, honestly. And a lot of these convenience foods are like that. Bagel bites, bagel bites are amazing on the grill. Hot pockets, you know it, you know it. All right, I'm gonna close this grill. Vents are open, pizza rolls are on. They're starting to burst, but they're not they're not crispy enough for me yet. I want them. I want them a little more crispy. All right. Judging by the smell, it smells like these pizza rolls are done. It's, oh shit! Yeah. And yeah, they, they burst open, but these ones over here looks like they need a little more color. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these guys in direct. What's up, dogs? Who let the dogs out? Luna, you want some pizza rolls? Guess not. More for me. All right, I'm just gonna give these a little sizzle. Smells good. The asbestos guys just left. Shit, I don't know where I'm gonna put this thing. Think fast. Oh shit, that's a hot god damn. Now if you think I'm gonna eat one of those things hot off the grill, you are fairly accurate. Oh, I burn my finger. Let's get some close-ups of our pizza rolls. Got some nice crisp on there. A little bit of color on the underside. Oh yeah. Lord have mercy on my taste buds. Oh my. Oh yeah though. Mm. It's got a little bit of smoky taste from that mesquite charcoal. Didn't use the oven. Didn't use the house. Survivor man style. Didn't drink my own pee. Bonus. Alright. I'm just going to stand here in the backyard and eat my pizza rolls because my wife won't touch them. Ooh, look at this one. It's got a little, little crispy corner. I love the crispy little corners. Mmm. I can feel my skin boiling. Oh my god, they're so good. Look! Simultaneous pooping. Dex Luna.
Oh my god. Alright guys, lunch is ready and I'm gonna chow these things down right here, right outside. Uh, one thing to make these better, if you do this at home, maybe brush some tomato sauce on in the last couple minutes. Maybe hit them with some Asiago cheese or some hot sauce. Hot sauce is great. I would love some hot sauce right now. If only. If only I had hot sauce in my garage. Remind me to put some hot sauce in the garage. Hey Siri, remind me to put some hot sauce in the garage. No, doesn't work when I'm doing video. All right. All right, thank, thanks for watching, guys. Hit thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And goodbye.